All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson 19. And in this lesson, students are gonna be measuring and then they're gonna be comparing those differences and they're gonna be learning that when you've got measurements of the same units, uh, you can add them, you can subtract them, just kind of like regular numbers. Only now we've got inches attached as our units instead of um, in regular numbers, the units is the one. Uh, itself. Now we're, the unit is inches or the unit is centimeters. So for example, if I have a table and I know that the table is 53 inches wide and I've got a piece of ribbon and that red ribbon stretches but not quite all the way across the table. That red ribbon only goes 46 inches across the table. And then I'm going to stick in the blue ribbon for the rest of, of the way across the table. How, long, how much red, uh, blue ribbon am I going to need? And the idea is we can either use uh, an addition problem, so it's an addition with a missing add end uh, to solve this problem, or we could use the classic subtraction. The idea is uh, we can use inches and feet and yards and we can compare things and, and, and essentially add and subtract just like normal. So let's get started. All right. The directions say to measure each set of lines and we're going to do it in inches and then we're going to write the lengths down here and then we're going to complete the comparison sentence. The idea is we want students to understand that if you're talking about five inches and or three inches that you can add those together and get eight inches or whatever it is. So let's get let's get measuring. Now uh, my import here is not to scale so my answers are going to be different from your answers so really I'm just showing you that the general concept. So we're going to line up the ruler uh, make sure you're lined up at zero and we're going to look and it's oh in my case line a is about eight inches and then line b i'm going to go down here and oh b is oh let's call it about five inches and that's good enough and so now, what's our comparison? In this case, it says line A is about how many inches longer than line B? And we would say it's about three inches. Now, if we wanted to, we could write this eight inches minus three inches equals five inches. Or we could have said five inches plus what equals eight inches. And of course, the answer would be three inches. So we could have described it either in terms of subtraction. Uh, we could have used our comparison in terms of addition. Um, and that's what this whole point is about. Now we are making it a little bit more abstract because we're not actually talking about actual physical measurements. Now we're just talking about numbers with particular units attached. So we've got 8 centimeters plus how many centimeters equals 19 centimeters. Now if we wanted to, we could show this with a tape diagram. We could say 19 centimeters is here. We could say here is 8 centimeters. And then we could say what is this length right here. And we have a whole variety of choices. Uh, we could use the arrow method. We could say, well, 8 plus 2 gives us 10. And then we can add 9, and we're going to get to 19. And so what did we add all together? We added 11. Well, 11 what? We added 11 centimeters. And so we can't just um, ignore the labels, but in this case we did kind of temporarily put them aside because we were dealing with just naked numbers. Uh, but then we have to remember uh, those numbers have units attached to them. In this case it was centimeters. 12 inches subtracts something equals 8 inches. Now what are we going to subtract? Now we don't want our students to just say 4 
because 12 inches take away 4, you, you can't really do because we need to have our units to be the same. So we need our students to say 4 inches. And that's it. Now, how did, how did I get that so quickly? Parents and teachers, I'm going to leave that up to you to have your students uh, participate in a conversation about how do they figure out that it was a four. And that wraps up second grade, module seven, lesson 19, comparing differences, but making sure that we are using our labels, in this case, inches or feet or yards or centimeters.